I'm sure it's unique in your eyes and exciting that you will enjoy my dishes for today. By the way, good day, cousineras. I'm Howard, your chef, and welcome to my cooking blog. So for today's video, I'm going to cook four recipes, two for egg, the loaded baked potato frittata, and the deep fried deviled egg. And also two for sandwiches, which is the tomato tea sandwich and ham and cheese tea sandwich. So everything is ready to be used, including the ingredients. And I think I haven't forgotten anything yet. So without a further ado, let's get started. So going back, first, let's start with loaded baked potato frittata. So in order for you to cook loaded baked potato frittata, you need to have these ingredients. The first one is the egg, the main dish or recipe for our cooking, the olive oil, the potato, mixed vegetables, onion, the salt and pepper, bacon, the milk, and cheese. So everything in the set. So let's start cooking. So first you need to cut and ready the onions, the potato, and the bacon, all, all the recipe that need to be cut. So first the potato. Just cut it in the cube or um, small amount cube. You know what, Casineros? Good thing I learned um, cooking or cutting um, like onions, from tomato, or at least this potato in our old subject in our first semester here in Iris. So I applied it here in my cooking blog. So to remind you, Casineros. You need to be careful in cutting some recipes. It's for your safety and yeah, it's for your safety. The next one, let's set aside this tomato. Potato rather. The next one is the onion. You can use the regular onion for this, but I choose this because I think this is much tastier than the normal. Okay, same with potato. Uh, we are cutting this in a cube or in a small size. Also the beef. So after cutting the thing you need to cut, um, heat boil in a large skillet and first cook the potato until it's tender. So let's start cooking the potato. The potato. So let's just wait until it's tender. So when you see it, it's tender, then add to the tablespoon of onions. So a little bit of onion, two tablespoon only. So let's just wait for at least 20 to 30 seconds and then let's set aside this. So after you set aside the potato with onion to have been cooked, the next one is in a medium mixing bowl, grease together the egg, the milk, let's add the milk, okay. and also the bacon, let's add something, maybe the half of the bacon, so that uh, we can use the half of the bacon again in our toppings. The next one is the cooked potato with the green onion. This one. Okay. 
and then the cheese. It looks yummy, right? <laughs> And then lastly, um, let's add some pepper and salt for the taste. Let's do this. Pepper and the salt. A little bit of salt. Alright. After all, we are now mixing. So, after mixing all the ingredients, including the mixed vegetables, the potato, and all, uh, let's um, pour the mixture in large fillet and heat the oil in the medium heat. And you need to wait the frittata to set up before plating it. So, we are now cooking the frittata. So, gently put the frittata into the skillet. Alright, let's just wait um, 2 to 3 minutes before plating the pita. Well, we all know that the main dish or the main recipe for pitata, aside from potato, is the egg. Did you know um, eating egg contains about 6 con um, grams of protein? And as well as it, it's helpful for amino acids. So getting our share of protein for the day can help uh, with weight management, increase muscle mass, lower blood pressure, and help our bo our bones as well so you just need to eat egg every day i've always eat every day um egg every day especially when breakfast so it's good from protein also for our body also egg become the staple foods of filipino because this is the most convenient um buy-in for all the filipinos so let's wait two to three minutes before plating the bread so after 2 to 3 minutes, we are now plating the frittata. So we need to be um, gently and smooth in plating frittata so that the shape remains the same. So I think for 20 to 30 seconds, um, um, let's flip again the frittata then uh, uh, we, we need to add more cheese and bacon and the glass. So we are now plating again the frittata. Alright, this looks good. And then, to make it more easy, let's add some cheese and jam. Alright, let's just wait until the cheese melts and then the frittata is ready to serve. So the loaded baked potato frittata is done and ready to serve. So we are now done with the first recipe of egg. So we are now proceeding in the next recipe of egg, which is the deep fried deviled eggs. So ingredients to be used. The first one is the boiled egg. The breadcrumbs. Egg that come um, out of the shell. The flour. Salt and pepper. The mayonnaise. Mustard. And the pig relish. So we are now on the set. Uh, first, cut the hard-boiled eggs in the half length twice and gently separate the egg white and from the yolk and remove the meat to a medium bowl. So let's cut the hard-boiled egg into half. After this, we, we need to remove the yolks of the yellow on the center of the egg 
into a plate. So after separating the yolks in the egg white, we need the breadcrumbs, the egg, and the flour. But first, we need to stir the egg. Then after that, coat the cook, the cooked white egg in the flour, and then egg, and in the breadcrumbs. First, you need to put it on the flour. The next one, coat it with an egg. And last, coat it with the breadcrumbs. That's it. We need to coat all the white eggs into a flour, an egg, and the breadcrumbs after we cook. So after coating, carefully place eggs into a pan with a medium hot oil. So this is our egg cooked by the flour and breadcrumbs. So we need to wait until the egg looks um, browny until we need to flip it. So after 2 to 3 minutes, the egg is um, done. And then remove from a pan and drain excess oil with a paper tissue. Okay. After this, we need to set aside this. Alright. Then next one, we need to add the mayonnaise, the relish, mustard, salt, and pepper to the yolks and mash until smooth in a bowl. So this is the egg yolks. We need to add the mayonnaise, the mustard, the pita relish, and the salt and pepper. So first, let's mash it using the pork. Then after that, let's add the mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Also, two tablespoon of mustard. Then let's add one tablespoon of pica relish. Let's get some relish. Let me cut it so that we can get the relish. Right. And then let's um, add some pepper and salt. After that, let's mix it. It looks nice and also the smell is nice for me. This mixture is good. Then after this, put the yolks mixture out of the egg white. This is the egg white that we cook. Then let's add the yolks. So this is optional, and to make it cheesy, let's use cheese for toppings. Alright, it's done! Deep fried deviled egg is now ready to serve.
So we're done in two recipes of eggs. So now let's proceed on sandwiches. The first one is cucumber tea sandwich. Ingredients to be used, one piece of cucumber, white bread, butter, green onions, the cream cheese. So first, we need to cut all the thing that need to be cut. So I already cut the onion and ready um, some of the ingredients to be used. Let's cut the cucumber in this size. Um, I heard that cucumber is uh, really good to our skin. So we're, we are now done on cutting the cucumber. Let's set aside. Now, after cutting the ingredients, mix the cream cheese with one tablespoon of green onions. So this is the cream cheese. And then let's add one tablespoon of green onions. And then mix. And apply butter into a bread made. So let's get the bread and separate it into four pieces. And first, let's spread the butter into the bread made or in the other half. So after we apply the butter into the bread made the next one is we need uh, we we are now going to apply the cream cheese into the other half of the bread it smells so good So again, it's up to you how many um, amount of cream cheese would you like to apply in your bread. The more cream cheese, the more the taste, the tastier the bread is. Okay, so after applying the cream cheese and the butter, now uh, we're going to add the cucumber, pepper, and salt to taste. So let's apply the cucumber. So after applying the cucumber into the bread, let's add some pepper and salt on the top of the cucumber. A little bit of pepper. And also salt. Make sure to use iodized salt. Okay, so after putting um salt and pepper, the cucumber, and all the ingredients into a bread. Now, we're now going to combine it. Combine, then press. That's it. After combining the bread, we're now going to slice it. In your desire, cut. So, I want to cut it. Um, it looks like a triangle. So after cutting the bread, it is now ready to serve into a plate. So let's now serve it into a plate. So now, the cucumber tea sandwich is ready to serve. So let us now proceed on the second recipe of sandwich, ham and cheese tea sandwich. So ingredients to be used, we need 4 pieces of large size tasty, 2 pieces of cooked sliced ham, 2 pieces of cheese single, and the cream cheese. So first, we need to apply mayo cream cheese dressing to one side of the bread. 
and then place sliced ham and cheese single, then rub with the dressing and cover on top of the first piece. So first, let's separate it into four. And then, first, apply the cream cheese. Again, it's up to you on how much dressing would you like to apply. So after applying the cream sheets, now we need to apply the sliced ham. And then apply cheese on top of the ham. So cocineros, make sure to wash your hands and to clean it through. So a little bit of dressing on top of the cheese. Did you know that bread also um, provides or contains proteins? When I do work out, except from eating only vegetables or eggs, uh, like what I said earlier, I choose to eat bread because bread helps me to get full quickly, plus it's healthy because it has proteins. So now, after applying um, dressing, let's put some uh, mixed um, salt and pepper. Alright, after putting, um, remove the crust of the bread, then slice top bread into four stick with toothpick. So, um, let's combine the bread. After combining the bread, uh, let's now remove the crust. Alright, that's how it looks. Then, we need to slice it into four. Alright, then let's stop it with toothpicks. Alright, so after cutting the truss and cut it into four pieces and applying some toothpicks, we're, this is now ready to, um, to serve it to a plate. So now let's serve it into a plate. And let's add some design and I'll be right back. Ham and cheese tea sandwich is now ready to serve. So now, cucineras, all the dishes are done. And now, ready to serve and taste. Alright, Cucineros, the first person who will taste is my brother. So this is what you call loaded baked potato frittata. So taste it. <laughs> so how is it? Is it good or bad? Um, for me, it's very good. It's very good. Alright. I have here my evaluation paper. So, according to appearance, is it uh, the color, the size, the shape, the volume? How is it? For me, the color was exactly right. There are green, contrasting orange, and yellow as well. And the volume, texture, the size. And size was good also. Thank you. How about the texture? Is it creamy, buttery, melt? Melt in mouth, chewy, greasy, crispy, crunchy. So there, there are ingredients like cheese. So basically, it is creamy when you eat it, and yeah, texture is great. Hey, thank you. About the flavor, um, ah, about the flavor, you said it, it's good. Okay. About the presentation, the colorful, you said it's good. How about it? Is it attractive? Plating was great. There. Are um, also uh, side dishes and it is very good when it comes in combining ingredients and the dish as well. Okay, so overall if you are going to rate it 1 to 100, how does it um, is it good or how does it feel to, okay. my, um, to eat my um, potato frittata? Um, definitely for me it is 100% because 
yeah, it is an egg dish but uh, very good in taste also. That's it. Alright, thank, thank you so much. Okay, this next person is my sister. So this is what you call deep fried devil egg. So taste it. Get one and taste it. And <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> okay, same question as the first person. How about the appearance? The, the color, the size, the volume? How Yung does it? Appearance, uh, maganda naman siya kasi presentable lang na yung plating. Tapos yung itsura, parang matatakam ka kung ano ba yung nasa loob niya. No? Alright. <laughs> the next one, the texture. Texture, uh, since may breadcrumbs, crunchy, tapos parang kumain ng ano, egg sandwich na walang tinapay. Ganon. Mm. <laughs> How about the flavor? Is it good or bad? Or... Nagmamatch siya. Kasi yung egg is wala masyadong lasa, then flavorful yung pinaka toppings niya. So, okay sa akin. Okay, lastly, how about my presentation? The presentation is good. Tuwag na sabi ko, maganda yung plating. Kasi pag nakita mo, parang, uy, ang ganda. Parang ang sarap kainin. Perfect yun. So, overall, if you're going to rate it 1 to 100, how are you going to rate it? 99.9. First the one percent. Okay, thank you so much. Let's proceed to the next. So, Cusineros, this person, or persons, joke, right next to me is my best friend. So, he will um, taste the ham and cheese tea sandwich. So, taste it. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. <laughs> so it's good. So how does it taste? Sandwich. Sandwich. Okay. So according to appearance of the um, of my. Um, of my recipe or my dish um, how, uh, how about the color the size the shape the volume is it good or bad mm, that question is hard huh? <laughs> but pero kung i-rate ko to all in all 10 out of 10 kasi syempre diba um, andun na yung alat may pang <laughs> yes tas yung cheese tas may ham pa so Okay, siya pa. Perfect. So the appearance, the texture is good. How about the flavor? You said it's good, right? Okay. So lastly, the presentation. How about my presentation? My plating. Flat. Eh, or dito lang? Art. Yes. Mm, dito, dito, dito sa ano to, sa dish na to. Ten over ten din siya. So. So, um, same question as the others. If you are going to rate it one to one hundred. How are you going to rate it? Mm, 98. 98. <laughs> yes. the 2%. Okay, thank you so much. So, Cusineros, the last one who are going to taste my last dish, which is the cucumber tea sandwich, is my auntie. Hello. Say hi to the camera. Hello, everybody. So, hi. taste it. That's what you call cucumber tea sandwich. Cucumber? Yeah, cucumber. Oh, was it that? Yes. Wow, you can. <laughs> wow, you, you have bite it. Love of cucumber. <laughs> Is it good? Very good. Very good. So according to appearance, sa pagkakakita mo, sa text, sa texture niya, sa color niya, in shape. Is it good or bad? Slight. It's slight. It's <laughs> So, according to the appearance of texture, it's light. Kind of. <laughs> so, in terms of flavor, is it good? Yeah. Is it tasty? Sarap ba? Malasa. Malasa? Okay, hindi naman maalat, maasim. Hindi. Okay. So, lastly, my presentation. So, bukod sa, uh, kung makikita mo yung presentation ko, maganda ba yung pagkaka-plating ko, yung pagkaka-design ko? Hindi. <laughs> Totoba? <laughs> according to my plate. <laughs> so, 
That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> para di ba? Para at least, uh, ano ko, susunod, it's okay, it's okay. di ba? Nandahan so, mo na. Yes. So, if you are going to rate it from 1 to 100 according to the texture, appearance, taste, uh, the, the taste. taste, the flavor of my dish, how are you going to rate it? 99. 99. Hmm, 99. Where's the 1%? It's gold. It's gold. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Auntie. Ito lang yung tips mo ko. Did you can taste it all. <laughs> so, cousineros, that's it for my cooking vlog. So, I hope you learned something new in my recipe. And then, thank you for watching. Bye!